low English learners. This is the third part of my series on how to improve your English pronunciation. Today I'm going to talk about intonation. It is an important issue because, as I have already mentioned in my previous videos, intonation patterns may convey additional meanings such as politeness, directness, doubt, suspicion, or distrust. I'll give you a very simplified version of English intonation patterns here, but even this minimum will help you to sound much better and avoid many misunderstandings. There are three main patterns of intonation in English. Falling intonation, rising intonation, and fall rise intonation. Falling intonation describes how the voice falls on the final stressed syllable of a phrase or a group of words. Falling intonation is very common in W8 questions, which means questions that begin with uh, what, when, where, who, whom, which, who's, why, and how. We use them to ask for information and the answer cannot be yes or no. Where is the nearest post office? What time does the film finish? Falling intonation is used when we say something definite or when we want to be very clear about something. I think we are completely lost. Okay, here is the magazine you wanted. Rising intonation. Rising intonation describes how the voice rises at the end of a sentence. Rising intonation is common in yes, no questions. I hear the health center is expanding. So, is it a new doctor? Are you thirsty? It also is used in imperatives and can be followed by a rising tag with a modal verb. Will, could, would. Pass me the remote control, will you? Help lead to this, could you? Fall rise intonation describes how the voice falls and then rises. We use fall rise intonation at the end of statements when we want to say that we are not sure or when we may have more to add. I don't support any football team at the moment, but I may change my mind in the future. It rained every day in the first week, but things improved after that. We use fall rise intonation in questions, especially when we request information or invite somebody to do or to have something. The intonation pattern make the questions sound more polite. Is this your camera? Would you like another coffee? There are two other situations you should pay attention to. Firstly, an intonation pattern that is used when listing. For example, he bought apples, peaches, pears and oranges. I'll have two pencils, a black pen, and some ink. We went to Paris, Brussels, Amsterdam, and London. I saw Esther, Jane, Nail, and Susan. Secondly, 
an intonation pattern with tags. They show speaker's attitude to their questions. Usually a positive statement is followed by a negative tag and a negative statement is followed by a positive tag. The following intonation of the question text gives the impression that a statement is correct. The rising intonation on the tag indicates a genuine question. The speaker isn't sure that the statement is correct and requires the answer from the listener. We met them on holiday, did we? We met them on holiday, did we? They can't attend, can they? They can't attend, can they? Positive statements can be used with positive tags and rising intonation. But be careful. It also used to show sarcasm and suspicion. It fell off a lorry, did it? More examples you can find below the links I attach. In addition to all mentioned issues, I recommend you to study some typical pronunciation mistakes. Believe me, you're likely to make them. Please follow the links I attach. And also, please check how you pronounce ED in regular verbs. Follow the link. As in plural forms of nouns and third person singular forms of verbs. And so called silent letters. To sum up the main issues you should keep in your mind if you want to improve your English pronunciation vowels long, short vowels, diphthongs, schwa sound, and other depending on your native language. Consonants, th, th, v, w, n, n. Assimilations and elisions, and other sounds depending on your native language. Stress, especially noun and verb pairs. Connected speech, linking words and rhythm. And intonation, W and H questions, yes, no questions, full rise intonation with questions, intonation patterns with tags, intonation patterns when listing. In the next video, I'm going to explain what should be the following steps after you understand your problems with English pronunciation. Thank you for your attention. If you need any assistance to improve your pronunciation or you want to book a lesson in English, Russian or Polish, please email me olga.nestel gmail.com. Subscribe to my channel and like it.